Hello, welcome everybody. I'm your sister in Christ, Taisha. Happy Valentine's to everybody. Um, I did not expect to be doing a word today, but I am a seer. So I have um visions, night visions, dreams. I'm a dreamer. I have a lot of dreams. But last night or this morning dream was to warn some people. So I wanted to come here and warn my sisters in Christ. And it's coming from uh Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. So sisters. It says, servants, obey in all things your masters, according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in the singleness of heart, fearing God. Which means, ladies, fellas, whoever watching this, because you can take it and flip it, but I'm a woman, so I speak to women. Um, what it means is that what we do, we can't do to please men. We got to do whatever we do to please God. And Valentine's is a romantic um, uh, very enticing day to be sexually involved with someone. Uh, it would make you feel like, hey, I should be doing what everybody else is doing. I want to be having me some fun or I want to be loved on as well. But if you are a single unmarried woman, which means you don't have a husband, I don't care if you say you got a boyfriend or boo or whatever, you don't have a husband. Because we're talking about biblical stuff. We're not talking about worldly stuff. You don't have a husband. You should be first of all reframing from having sex. But you should not let the devil use this holiday as a device to get into your mind and make you feel like you need to be giving up the cookies, which is the vagina, tonight um, to any man that is not your husband. God is saying he does not want you to do that. So he wants you to focus on anything else than being sexually involved with a man tonight just because you may feel lonely or you may feel like you're all by yourself or you want or you want to feel like, well, at least on Valentine's, I turned up with this person or that person or we did this, we did that, just to have something in comparison with your other friend girls or other people that you may talk to that do as they please with their bodies. Don't get me wrong. If you're a person that is not a child of God and one of my sisters, then you will not, this word would not be for you because you're going to have have sex and do what you want to do regardless but if you are a woman that is living their life holy and acceptable trying all you can to wait on your husband keep the private parts on lock the vagina the cookies the whatever you want to call it because i do have a sense of humor um you know on lock then you might want to find you something else to do than to buy into this romantic thing that you should be having sex tonight or uh, pretty much at all, but definitely tonight because tonight would be a night that would really uh, get into the psyche and cause you to do something that you will regret. So I love you guys. And I just wanted to challenge my sisters um, to know that this is one night and God has something special for you. He love you and he got a husband coming for you that you're going to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do with and not feel like you're losing your salvation it's okay to um have thoughts come in your mind but we have to submit those thoughts to god and uh just do what's pleasing to him you know we all have things that we deal with you know i'm a married person but don't get me wrong i'm not a blind person so i still see you know i see what i see how about that but um it is what it is. But I love you guys. And I just want y'all to just stand on, stand on what God has promised you. Stand on the woman that you are. Respect yourself. Because if you don't respect yourself, no one will. And if they can have you and you give it, they're going to take it. All right? Bye-bye.